and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so today we'll be starting your first python tutorial so today we won't actually go into programming itself we'll mo mostly do an overview of the language itself why you'd want to learn it what you should do in order to be able to code with it what is python actually We'll be going over all of those things through this video, so stay tuned and we will all learn some Python. Now, the latest version of Python is called Python 3. So the first question would probably be, what is Python? Python is a general purpose programming language. General purpose means it can be used for general purpose. Unlike HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which is mainly used for web page development, Python can be used for things such as server-side web development, software development, system scripts, AI and machine learning, and data science, and actually much more. And here's a few examples. For example, you can have Google, Uber, Netflix, and Instagram, which uses server-side Python. Then you can have YouTube, Red and Quora, which all used uses Python to run. And then you can have system scripts, AI, which I think we all know what AI is, and data science. Now, why Python? Why not C++? Why not Java? Why not anything else? Well, firstly, let's Let's go from the start. Python works on multiple platforms. This means it works on Windows, Macs, Linux, Raspberry Pi, Android. It works basically anywhere. Python can also be used in both a functional and an object-oriented way. Meaning, you can see everything in Python as either an object, or you can see everything in Python as either just data. Python is extremely easy, especially for beginners. It has a lot in common when it comes to the English language. How you speak is, in a way, sort of how you can write in Python, which makes it so easy. The syntax also allows you to write code extremely fast. If you write code in C++, whatever you write in code, let's say, if you write a piece of code in C++ in one day, you can probably write that same piece of code in Python in probably an hour to five hours instead of an entire day. And the average person or the average Python developer makes about $77,000 a year in the US. That is a lot of money a year for a Python developer. And as I said, Python is general purpose. So unlike JavaScript, which can only be used for websites, and it's actually expanding a little bit now, but yeah, JavaScript can mainly only be used for things like websites. Python can be used for websites, applications, and whatnot. Now, how will my tutorials work? So how I plan to do them is I plan to upload four to six videos, which will take about a month. And then afterwards, I give you a project to do. Now, the whole point of the project is to let you test your own skill. As you become more in depth with programming, you'll realize that a lot of the time, most of the things you're going to do is Google. And that's what I want to actually get through to you, is that you should Google. Whether you think that's what a real programmer does or not, Googling is really the best way to learn. By just watching my videos, I cannot teach you everything. There will always be someone out there or something out there that I didn't teach you. And somebody else may have. And that is why I create the projects for you to do. I'll give you a project to do and I will give you the answers afterwards. I first want you to attempt the project yourself and try your, the best that you possibly can to improve that project as much as possible. Now, 
probably one of the last questions you might ask is how can you write in Python? Well, it's fairly simple. First, you need to install Python. You need to make sure it's on your computer and you can run a Python script. And you can get this at their website python.org slash downloads. You can download it for, for Linux, for Windows, and for Mac. And I think all of them except for Linux does have a 32-bit version as well. So go ahead and install whichever version you need. The next thing you'll need is a text editor. There is thousands of text editors you can choose from. You can use your notepad if you want. I would not recommend using notepad, but you can use notepad if that's what you desire. But my personal recommendation is Sublime Text Free. You can also use VS Code, which is extremely popular, especially for Python. It is and it's also very good, useful for other languages as well, but for this case, Python is good. And PyCharm, which if you have a little bit of a stronger PC and you think you need something better than VS Code itself, you can use PyCharm. But just note that it is a little bit more resource intensive than either Sublime Text and or VS Code. So that's up to you. And then if you don't want either of these options, then you can just use your built-in text editor or you can go online and just use decoder in which case you'll get a little bit of a performance decrease and you will be blocked to some features in Python of course because it's online you can't really do everything on there that you can do on Python in on your PC itself so yeah that's the end of this video there is not too much I want to go over just yet. As we go through more videos, I will explain more about Python as it needs be. But for right now, this is all I want you to know. So yeah, in the next video, we'll be learning how to write our very first script in Python and how to execute it and all of that beautiful jazz. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all are excited to start this Python course. And see you all in the next video.